testimony underway again. In fact, as we speak, it is happening in the Karen Reed murder trial. Yeah, so Reed, of course, is accused of hitting and killing her Boston police officer boyfriend, Mr. John O'Keefe, th with her SUV and then leaving him to die in a snowbank. NBC 10's Manash Kongwari is outside of the courthouse in Dedham for us. And Manash, there's a lot of uh, procedural issues yeah. happening this morning in the courtroom. Catch us up to speed here. What can you tell us? Well, so far, it's been a rather slow day of court objection after objection, break after break. So far, only two witnesses have been on the stand this morning. And the defense is using this time to really poke holes in their credibility. Now, as we know, O'Keefe's body was found on the lawn of Brian Albert's home on Fairview Road, where there was a party the previous night that O'Keefe was invited to. Well, yesterday, a Kenton police lieutenant testified that when they arrived to gather evidence, they didn't go inside the home or question anyone inside the home. He also confirmed that Canton police used red solo cups and a stop and shop bag to store evidence because they didn't have the right supplies. Well, today, another shocking revelation. As we know, Reed is accused of killing O'Keefe by way of backing into him with her SUV after dropping him off to that Fairview Road home. The prosecution plans to introduce a number of pieces of broken taillight evidence to support that claim, but take a listen to this line of questioning between the defense and the Canton police sergeant, who was one of the first on scene the morning O'Keefe's body was found January 29, 2022 never took a photo of a piece of taillight on January 29th of 2022, correct? Correct. You never saw a piece of taillight at 34 Fairview on January 29th of 2022, correct? Correct. Now, simply put, Reed's defense attorneys believe that there could be some cross-contamination when it comes to the evidence that was gathered for this case. Now, the prosecution says while some of the circumstances may have been unusual, the credibility of the officers involved and of the evidence that they gathered should not be questioned. For right now, though, we're live here in Denham. Manash Kungwari, NBC10 Boss.